Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're discussing something a little bit different and a little bit out of the blue, but I thought I'd discuss it anyway because it's quite an interesting story. Today we're discussing how Artas Badum lost his mandibles and earned that fantastic nickname of Halfjaw. So before we start, if you could leave a like down below to show support, that would be fantastic. And also, if you want to leave a comment down below telling me if there's any sort of character or story or anything in the Halo universe you'd like me to make a video on, I will read and reply to literally every single request that I get. So expect a video on your request. So this story is actually one of many in the Halo graphic novel, which is an amazing read and I highly suggest you pick it up. So let's get into the story. During the events of Halo Combat Evolved in 2552, Artas Badum served in the Covenant Special Operations Division as a Special Operations Commander of the Special Warfare Group. That's a lot of specials. He was assigned to lead all Spec Ops units within the then Thelvadamese Fleet of Particular Justice and was stationed on the fleet's flagship, Seeker of Truth. After pursuing the Pillar of Autumn following the Fall of Reach, as we know, the fleet stumbled upon Installation 04. During the Battle of Installation 04, an emergency beacon was activated on the Infinite Secur, an agricultural ship in the fleet, and Artas was called to the bridge by Thelvadami. This was shortly after a training duel with his second in command, Officer Barrow Kusavai, well known for being a great swordsman. Thel believed the Sakur had been boarded by humans and tasked Artas to lead a Spec Ops team of Sangheili and Dungoy to board the ship, assess the situation, and rescue the Minister of Etiology. When aboard the ship, the team found the remains of Hurugok and Ungoy which made them question whether humans had actually caused it as they were never this barbaric. The team entered the hunting preserve and were attacked by animals infected by, yep, you guessed it, the Flood. They managed to fight their way to the bridge and Arsas had it locked down due to the danger of the Flood escaping. They sent warnings to the rest of the fleet and began initiating the ship's self-destruction. It then turned out that the Minister of Etiology had survived and informed Artas of the Flood's intents and the proto-grave mind that was forming in the ship. Originally planning to set the ship's course for the sun, the Minister insisted the Spec Ops crew evacuate him and then remotely destroy the Infinite Secure. This showed the selfish tendencies of the Sanchayum and angered Artas, as it was clear that he was willing to put his own life before the rest of the Covenant. Artas decided to take tactical command of the mission and he, along with three other elites, made their way to the engineering station aboard the ship to set a course towards the nearby sun. Meanwhile, Baraku Savai led the remaining survivors and the Minister of Etiology to the Phantom they rode in on. On their way to engineering, the three elites with Artas were sadly killed by the Flood, and when Artas arrived at engineering, the Minister revealed he was infected by the Flood through a view screen, and Artas was confronted by an infected Baraku Savai. Still retaining his energy sword ability, the fight was tough, but Artas allowed Kusavai to strike him along his arm and face so he could deal a killing blow. This strike ultimately severed Artas's mandibles, giving him the world-famous nickname of Halfjaw. Artas later returned to the Seeker of Truth, two minutes before the ship jumped into the sun, and informed Thel of what happened, which caused him to invoke an emergency quarantine throughout the fleet. And the rest is history. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed. The next video which should be uploaded over the next couple of days will be a theory video about the future of Dr. Halsey. Given some details that were released recently about the development of Halo 5, I have some really interesting theories about the future of Dr. Halsey and what part she will play in the future of Halo's story. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you then.